We return with more about the Beijing Winter Olympics, during which American snowboard cross veteran Lindsay Jacobellis finally won gold in her fifth games after famously giving away an overwhelming lead at Torino 2006 when she slipped and skidded while showboating on a last jump. As one of the most decorated female athletes in her sport, the 36-year-old gave the USA their first gold medal of Beijing 2022 by dominating the women's snowboard cross, then added another in the mixed team event. And she talked to sports scene's Wang Dong about her experience at the Games. So, Lindsay, great to have you. I know that uh, it's early in the morning there. However, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. No, thank you. I'm glad I could make this work. Everything's been a little crazy with travel, but I'm home visiting my parents and my brother and his wife are here with the kids. So it's been nice to be able to catch up with family because these last two years has been very challenging for everyone. And since I was traveling so much, it was hard to be around, you know, little kids with the current climate. So I'm happy to finally get some time with the little munchkins. So how settled are you now, Lindsay, to be back with the folks and also, uh, you know, after such a huge victory in Beijing, are you still walking on cloud nine? There's a lot of emotions that go back and forth. And there's some days that I really don't believe that it happened. And some days that I'm really, really excited. And then uh, there's moments that I have to now look towards the next thing. What do I still have to accomplish? What What are my goals? That it, it doesn't just stop there. Lindsay, if you don't mind, I would like to uh, really take a look at your precious two goals, if it is okay with you. Voila. Oh, this is just beautiful. So which is which? Tell us about it. Um, so this one, it'll say on the back. This was for the mixed team, so this is the one that I got with Nick, uh, Nick Baumgartner. Right. You won together as a, as a result of your teamwork? Uh, yes, this was the relay race, and I will say in the back that it's for the mixed teams. There you go. And, uh, and they have some heft to them. But, <laughs> and this, uh, this one was for, you know, the individual race. They also come with a little pin. Wow. And I gave my other pin to my head coach because he's been my head coach for 20 plus years. So wow. it's, it's been a journey and I felt that he deserved that along with uh, one of my bibs. Yes. So that was a really special thing to be able to give to him. What was your first reaction when you got the gold in your hands? I mean, crossing the finish line, I think my face really said it all. It it felt like my heart was going to just jump out of my chest because it was this relief. It was this excitement. It's something that I've been working for the past 20 years for, and it finally came around that, you know, I didn't put in all this time for nothing, even if I you know, didn't win, it wouldn't have been for nothing, but it, it sometimes feels like that in the moment when you've come up short and all of us have been there. Every competitor has, you know, had those moments where it just didn't work out and it makes the moments when it does come together that much more amazing and it hits just so much deeper on a, just a, a level that it's, it's so hard to explain. But Lindsay, let me ask this. Do you believe in fate? In other words, perhaps Torino was just not meant to be, and Beijing is really a lucky spot. Admit it, you know, whether you like it or not, and uh, do you believe and this is it, you know, for you to be in Beijing to win, and more than just once, but twice? You know, we can look at it that way, and I know for a fact, if I won in 2006, I probably would not have been in the sport. I would not have gained all of those records and had everything build up to that moment because I don't know that the the media put so much pressure on me as a 19 year old I might have walked away afterwards because you know at 19 you win gold like okay you, what what do you do next as a young athlete that that's hard to reach the highest point and then you could get lost as as an individual it doesn't happen to everyone but it could have happened to me. It just kept that fire in me and it kept me wanting more and wanting to help shape the sport and give back to the sport. And I look at those things and I wouldn't have accomplished those things or even tried to make this sport accessible to that younger generation of females if 
if I won the gold in 2006. So I think there is that element of fate and there is that um, appreciation that I have that I wanted to share the sport more. And I don't know if I would have done that in 2006. So it makes it makes it fun. It makes it special. It makes it a wonderful story of perseverance in in any way. How special is Beijing to you now? I guess the name of Beijing will never get out of your mind from this point on. It's definitely a very special memory. Absolutely. It was my first time traveling to China. Um, I never went there for junior worlds. And then for the test event, I was injured. So I didn't get that, you know, pre-visit to kind of check everything out. So it could be a spot that I'd want to go back. I didn't get to really see the city either. It's definitely some place that would be really cool to go back and visit again and just have another wonderful memory. What really impressed you most during your stay in the Olympic Village itself and also uh, at a competition venues and so forth, in a nutshell, throughout the whole journey? I would just say the competition venue was just set up so well. Everything was just so meticulous, the detailing on everything and how friendly the people were. Everyone was always able to help and that's a, it's a really amazing thing. And then you get to just see every country in their team uniforms and it just, it has that feeling of the world being united and we're here and we're coming together and appreciating every athlete's sacrifices and, and, and strive for greatness. Lindsay, such a pleasure talking to you. All the best to you. Cheers. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.